Dr. Bob Lahita now. He is director of the Institute for Autoimmune and Rheumatic Disease, St. Joseph Health. Doctor, thank you. I understand that for good reason, COVID has gotten all the headlines for the better part of two years. But now we have a flu season where in some cases, cases are 600% more than they were this week a few years ago. How seriously do we need to take this threat? Yes, Brian, we're asking everyone who has gotten their booster shot to consider having a flu shot about a week or two weeks after their booster. Now, if you're really brave, you can get the booster and the flu shot together. But I might not advise that because you wouldn't know what the side effect was if you didn't have a, a happy result from the, uh, from the injection. But it is a serious concern. Are you seeing people eschew the flu shot because they've gotten the COVID shot? Maybe they think that's sort of, okay, I'm protected now from a lot of things. They're very different viruses. Very different viruses. And most people don't understand that the flu affects children, people over 65, pregnant women, and it is just as dangerous as COVID in some cases, particularly if you have influenza A. You can go on to wind up in the ICU, and we have a few people in some of our hospitals that are in intensive care now for the flu. When you come into the emergency room, it's often difficult for us to determine whether you have the flu or you have COVID. So we have to do both sets of tests to make sure. Yeah, people forget the 1967-68 pandemic. It killed two and a half million people worldwide, by the way. We rarely talk about it. Is now part of that seasonal flu. All right, so let's say somebody comes in. Our viewers, they've got the sniffles or they've got a headache. They've got flu-like symptoms. They are, of course, worried that they have COVID. They're probably not thinking about the flu. What should they do when they come into the doctor? What are you going to prescribe? How do we know what they might have? Do they have to take a PCR test? Well, yeah, right now we're doing the rapid antigen test. As you come through the door, we have been testing for influenza A and B for years. So in the flu season, we usually test you for both types of influenza. Now, if you come in and you're severely ill, that means having a cough with a severe headache, a fever of 103 or 104, you don't have taste or smell, we're going to think that you have COVID until proven otherwise. But we will test you for the flu as well to make sure, because the two diseases are treated differently. And with the new Omicron variant, it is a bit less yeah. uh, clinically damaging than before. It's hard, not, and nobody can blame anybody, okay? A lot of people are sick right now. We just saw the numbers. And you, of course, default to, oh, my gosh, I may have COVID or I may have Omicron. Is there any difference in the symptoms? I'm not asking people to self-diagnose, doctor. But what are the no. differences in the symptoms to maybe give people a little more comfort? Well, the symptoms of the Omicron are very less than the Delta variant. The Delta variant, people get short of breath, their pulse oxygenation, that means the oxygen in the blood goes down precipitously, and they can wind up unconscious at home. If there's a relative, hopefully they will dial 911. The flu is a different a story. In the case of the flu, you usually do not lose your taste or smell, but the symptoms may be very similar. A severe headache, significant congestion, aches and pains, feeling like you were hit by a truck. And if that happens, most people who can breathe normally and don't have issues will stay home until such time as they say, mm. I don't think I'm doing that well. I feel like I'm really going down the tubes. And then they'll wind up in the emergency room to be evaluated. More often yeah. than not, if they're not super sick, they'll be discharged back to home. But with COVID, that's a different story. We have to be very careful. Yeah, scary time for a possible twindemic all at the wrong time when the hospital workers are already dealing with so much. Dr. Bob Lahita, thank you very much. Real world practical advice.